All right, an honor to be here with uh, Bill O'Reilly on a big day, a big day, because his book comes out today, Killing the SS, The Hunt for the Worst War Criminals in History. And uh, it, it's just very exciting to be on with an author who's had the kind of success of Bill O'Reilly, the Killing Series, 17 million books sold. And excuse the pun, but man, you are killing it. <laughs> Congratulations, Bill. Thanks, Wayne. Thanks for having me back. All right. Before I get to uh, all the news about the book and how exciting it is, and I've got my copy right here, just so everybody knows. Bill sent me a beautiful copy, and I'm in the process of reading it as we speak right now, and it is fantastic. But before I get to it, I want to ask you real quick about Nikki Haley, because obviously everybody wants to know what is the story? What happened? Why would she, uh, you know, uh, resign from being United States uh, Ambassador to the United Nations? She had a great role, great platform. What gives? I have no blanket idea. <laughs> I really don't. <laughs> you know, I, over the years, I've learned to tell my audience, uh, and the Newsmax audience is my audience, um, if I don't know something, I don't know it. I have no idea why uh, Governor Haley uh, decided not to continue. I suspect, Wayne, and this is just, you know, uh, speculation because I don't know her. I met her twice in my life. I don't know the dynamic between her and uh, the Trump administration, but I suspect that she had had enough in New York. Uh, She's South Carolinian, uh, family down there. I suspect she wanted to have maybe a year or two um, a break and then may get back in at some level of politics. Um, but I, I just don't know. Uh, you know, the left wing websites are all throwing stuff at her, but that's not, I don't think, consequential. So I have to basically, you know, plead ignorance on Nikki Haley at this point. What would you think about a wild guest from Wayne Root that Lindsey Graham could be the next attorney general and she could become the next United States senator, replacing Lindsey Graham from South Carolina? Possible? Sure. Absolutely possible. Um, I don't know if Senator Graham would want to give up his spot to become attorney general under a guy that is as volatile as Donald Trump. But if he <laughs> did... And, and Graham would, you know, be a pretty tough guy. Um, I think Nikki Haley probably would be appointed to that position. I think you're, you're right. So it's possible. Let's get back to the big news of the day, which is your book, Killing the SS. Here's my copy. Very proud that Bill sent the copy to me. And I've started to read it. And, I, you know, I didn't know. Call me stupid. I thought Killing the SS was about what killers the SS were. I didn't know it was about the Nazi hunters who went after the SS. Yeah. So that's a great topic. That's exciting. I love that. I'm a Jewish kid from New York who lost relatives in the Holocaust and other relatives who were enslaved for a couple of years there. So this is very exciting to me. Great stuff. Uh, talk a little bit about the era and the tracking down of these operatives who were so close to the evil Adolf Hitler. The, the crux of killing the SS is we as Americans have an obligation to our country and ourselves to understand evil. And what better example of evil than the actual people who perpetrated the Holocaust, which killed at least six million innocents, and then in the war, more than 50 million. So the people behind this were the SS. These were the black clad uniforms um, and Hitler's, uh, it started as his bodyguard and then expanded into the security services where they would man the concentration camps, all right? What they did there was beyond description. In one chapter, I put you in one of those concentration camps. You see for yourself as the reader from the inside what was going on. It's horrifying. But most of the book is that after World War II, after Hitler committed suicide and the Reich fell, that many of these heinous murderers got away. And they got away for two reasons. Number one, there was an organization, Odessa, set up during the war to help them get away because Himmler, Heinrich Himmler, the head of the SS, knew Germany was gonna lose, all right? So they set up this organization with a lot of money in it and a lot of killers in it. And then after the uh, Reich fell, the SS ran. And this organization helped them. And a lot of them got out, got to Spain, got to South America, got to South Africa, and they were helped by the American CIA, the new CIA, the Red Cross out of Switzerland helped them, and uh, elements of the Catholic yeah. Church. 
uh, in addition to German people themselves. You gotta understand something, Wayne. These SS killers didn't go to hell school. They didn't go to I'm the devil university. They were bankers, farmers, merchants before the war started. And then all of a sudden, they volunteer for the SS and they become baby killers. There were regular people. So I wanted to get across that evil is not something that, you know, Hitler with his mustache and this. Okay, we all know that. But regular people <laughs> can embrace evil very easily. And it's up to all of us to fight that. The Germans didn't. And I hope we in the United States do because we're seeing a rise of evil in this country. Who's your core audience for this book? Is it for history buffs only? Yeah, I mean, the core audience is 17 million people who've read The Killing Books. This is the eighth, as you mentioned. But I want to get young people to read this book. And I'm, I'm, I'm asking my audience on BillOReilly.com and the Newsmax audience, buy the book. If you know teenagers, 20s, 30s, they don't know anything about this. They're not taught about right. the Third Reich in school. They don't know what happened. And, and then idiots in the media throw the term around Nazi, like, oh, he's a Nazi, or this is that. Right. Bad. You have no blanking idea how bad these people were. And the people who helped them get away, we identify them, and then the heroes who tracked them down, and it was pretty hard to get them, dangerous. <clears throat> All right? All of that, it's, it, and, and I write, you know how I write the killing books, Wayne, in a, in a thriller style. So it keeps you up at night, turning the pages. What lessons uh, do you get from the book, Bill? Last question that are most relatable to today's political climate. You know, I, we're seeing evil uh, in almost unprecedented in my lifetime in America. And I'm talking about people walking into schools with guns and killing students. How often have we seen that? I'm talking about the city of Chicago, where tens of thousands of citizens have been shot by drug gangs. And the authorities in Chicago and Illinois can't stop it. I'm talking about clerics molesting children. This is just evil. Now, my mother lived a very nice life, raised me in the suburbs of New York City and, and on Long Island and Levittown. I don't think my mother ever in her entire life saw evil. It, never. Okay, now my ancestors in Ireland saw it. They were thrown off their land into starvation in the 1840s. They saw it. My mother never saw it, all right? In America, I want people to understand that we can't look away from evil. We can't look away. It's not something happening to someone else. There is a rise of evil in this country. Let me give you a very vivid example, Wayne, something that I'm sure you've talked about. One of the writers for Colbert, after Kavanaugh was confirmed, tweeted out, well, yeah, yeah he's confirmed, I but at least we destroyed his life. That's How evil. Bad is That's that? an evil wow. statement. Not only to destroy his life or try to, but his two girls and his wife. And you're bragging about it. Right. You're tweeting about it. I got words for that guy, Wayne. But I'll tell you what. What he tweeted was <laughs> evil. That could never happen in my organization. I don't think it could happen in yours. Colbert? Ah, no. I, uh, you know, oh, oh, that's okay. Well, do that on uh, Clintons. Do that about Barack Obama. Bang, the guy's out. Okay? So I think that Americans have got to understand what evil is, and that's why I actually voiced this audio on, uh, uh, for the first time in years, because I wanted to get it across. There's evil in America, there was evil in Germany, and we need to confront it as individuals. And that is why I wrote the book. All right, we appreciate it. And very strong words from Bill O'Reilly. I could tell the sincerity in those words. You're a good man. And as a Jewish American, uh, I really appreciate the book, Killing the SS. Thank you. It's out right now. Uh, part of a series that sold 17 million books. Bill O'Reilly, 14 times number one New York Times bestseller. God bless you, man. Thank you, Bill. Thank you, Wayne. We'll talk soon.